Our story starts on a small island off the coast of Africa, where a young boy named Farouk Bolsara was born in 1946. Though he hailed from humble beginnings in the exotic city of Stone Town, Zanzibar, no one could have predicted the icon Freddie Mercury would become. Now, are you ready to join Freddie's journey as this shy boy from Zanzibar becomes the extroverted showman Freddie Mercury? Stick with me as we explore how raw talent and unrelenting passion can take someone from humble beginnings to worldwide fame and fortune. Get ready, because this is the unbelievable rags to riches story of the icon who took the music world by storm. Early life. Can you imagine being ripped away from your family at just eight years old? Well, that's the tough reality Freddie faced when he was sent to boarding school in India. I'm sure he felt lonely and out of place at first, but Freddie quickly dove into life at the strict all-boys school. He tore up the sports fields with his athletic talents and created stunning artworks far beyond his years. But Freddie's true love was music. At 12 years old, he formed his very first band, The Hectics. Freddie rocked the stage as they belted out covers of the latest raucous hits. Students and teachers alike went wild over their performances. Even as a teenager, Freddie was totally enthralled by Western pop culture. He'd study his treasured music magazines, mimicking the flamboyant flair of idols like Cliff Richard. Freddie absorbed every detail about the glittering world of rock and roll. Can't you just envision young Freddie racing around campus in wild jackets as he sings his heart out with the hectics? He was just a boy, but Freddie's creative spirit could not be tamed. Stick with me as we watch his musical gift unfold. Relocation to England, the lush tropical paradise of his childhood, was replaced by the gray concrete jungle of London's suburbs. I'm sure 17-year-old Freddie felt like a fish out of water at first, but he remained optimistic, excited to finally be at the heart of the Western music scene he loved. To fit in with the English styles, Freddie grew out his hair into a shaggy mop top, much to his conservative family's dismay, but he was determined to soak up British culture. While his parents saw England as a refuge, to Freddie, it was a dreamland of music and stardom, just waiting to be explored. Though Freddie had lost his home, his creative spirit could never be crushed. Little did he know, England was where this shy boy from Zanzibar would blossom into the frontman legend Freddie Mercury. College years. When Freddie graduated from school, he dove headfirst into London's vibrant counterculture by enrolling in Ealing Art College. Surrounded by radical thinkers and artists, Freddie found himself captivated more by avant-garde fashion design than traditional graphic arts. This environment nurtured his creative spirit and gave him the courage to finally pursue his true calling music. At Ealing, Freddie was able to fully explore his identity and talents. He befriended like-minded creatives who shared his dreams and encouraged his ambitions. While studying fashion design, Freddie's inner showman emerged even bolder. Already, we see glimmers of the extroverted rock icon Freddie Mercury would become, no longer the shy boy from Zanzibar. This period gave Freddie the confidence to chase his musical destiny. Though he excelled in the visual arts, Ealing Mark College confirmed what was already in Freddie's heart. That performance was his one true love. Switching to music. After finishing art college, Freddie found himself adrift, playing in random bands and working odd jobs just to get by. But behind his ordinary exterior, monumental ambitions still burned inside him. Freddie knew he was destined for more. So when opportunity came calling in 1970, he seized it without hesitation. With brazen confidence, he approached Bride May and Roger Taylor of the band Smile and critiqued their lackluster stage presence. Freddie convinced them he was the front man they needed, and with bassist John Deacon completing the lineup, the iconic band Queen was born. Finally, Freddie had the vehicle for his creativity. Though raw and untrained at first, he possessed an intrinsic musical gift and charisma that couldn't be taught. While others saw limits, Freddie envisioned the potential of what Queen could become. Queen Queen's first two albums showcased their unique harmonies and heavy guitar hooks but didn't find much chart success. Can you imagine pouring your heart into album after album only to go unnoticed? Their early records overflowed with harmonies and guitar anthems. No one had ever heard before, but the charts just weren't listening. Finally, in 1974, the ambitious album Queen Elizabeth II and its single Seven Seas of Rye broke through. 
Listeners took notice of the band's fearless originality. After years of homing their live skills through exhaustive touring, Queen Knit also won over crowds in America. This hard-fought success fueled Queen's fire even more. They had scratched and clawed for this spotlight, and now they were determined to hold on to it. Freddie Mercury legally changed his name. This inspired Freddie to make a change. Can you imagine leaving your old identity behind and transforming into a new persona? Well, that's exactly what Farouk Bolsara did when he became Freddie Mercury. This new name was the missing piece. He needed to fully embrace his role as an entertainer. Freddie poured himself into every facet of performance. Not just singing, but songwriting, production, and crafting his own visual style. He knew the total package was key to standing out as a star. Now watch as Freddie Mercury takes the stage. No longer confined by who he used to be, a legend is born. Queen's Breakthrough In 1975, Queen cemented their status as legend with the album, A Night at the Opera. Bohemian Rhapsody pioneered the prog rock opera genre, showcasing Freddie's unbelievable four-octave voice. As the Queen ruled the charts, their parties and outrageous costumes came to define unchecked rock star extravagance. They had finally claimed the glamorous, excessive lifestyles their music embodied. Legendary Live Aid Performance Get ready for goosebumps, because we're reliving Queen's legendary 1985 Live Aid performance, considered one of the greatest concerts ever. On this day, Freddie Mercury alone captivated over a billion viewers worldwide. As Queen took the stage at Wembley Stadium, Freddie commanded the sea of 72,000 people like an evangelical preacher. During Radio Gaga, he led an unbelievable call and response, conducting the massive crowd's vocals with his bare hands. Time stood still as Freddie and the audience became one in transcendent synergy. His raw charisma and vocal power created a heart-stopping connection between the performer and the crowd. Let's travel back and experience Queen at the peak of their powers for ourselves. Feel the magic of Freddie shaking the world through the universal language of music. Moments like this etch artists into eternity. Solo work. But even iconic bands can have friction. When tensions emerged in Queen, Freddie found freedom through solo albums where he had total creative control. This was his canvas to paint on. In 1988, Freddie scored a number one hit duetting with the great opera singer Montserrat Caballé on Barcelona. Though Queen was Freddie's first love, these solo works reveal intimate new sides of his artistry. The Last Years By the late 80s, rumors swirled about Freddie's health, but he remained defiant. He continued writing music and performing with Queen as long as physically possible. Though too frail to tour at the end, Freddie summoned every last ounce of strength to record their final album, Made in Heaven. Even on his deathbed, Freddie's creative spirit could not be extinguished. Just one day after bravely revealing his AIDS diagnosis publicly, this legendary frontman passed away on November 24, 1991. Conclusion With an unparalleled voice, showmanship, and ambition, Freddie Mercury embodied the excess and grandeur of rock as few others could. His music continues to inspire outsiders to embrace what makes them different. Queen remains indelibly stamped on pop culture forever. Freddie left behind a legacy larger than life. If you found this an inspiring story, don't stop now from checking out our video on Dwayne Johnson, the rock and rise to global action hero next. And remember to subscribe so you don't break free from the iconic stories and killer content we deliver. Until then, keep dreaming big and discover the greatest stories with us.